As we count down the days of Super Bowl 57, we are shining a spotlight on some of the incredible art that is being created to document this year's Super Bowl. This morning, I'm joined live by this year's Super Bowl officially licensed commemorative artist, Charles Fazzino. Charles, you have commemorated, I understand, like more than 20 Super Bowls. Is that correct? Yes, I think it's 23 years. <laughs> it's been a long time, but it's been a, a lot of fun. Um, every year it's a, a, a different Super Bowl, a different city, and it really allows my creative juices to flow. We're looking at some of your art here behind us. We've got a couple of the, of the posters and this gorgeous helmet. I mean, it's just spectacular. Um, maybe we, you can even reach down and pick it up for us. Yes. I don't know if that's possible. Yes. I was just noticing it's a little low there. Look how cool this is. I mean, I'm good with the glue gun, but I could not do something <laughs> like this. Where do you get your inspiration from for each game? So, um, well, my inspiration for each game uh, and it is the city. You know, I love drawing cities, and I'm from New York, and uh, I love drawing architecture and so forth. So when I uh, go to draw, for instance, on a helmet, it's painting on the helmet. It's, uh, you know, redrawing all the different areas onto paper, cutting it out. It's like in school, doing a lot of arts and crafts. I love pop-out books as a kid. Oh, cool. And when I decided to become an artist many years <laughs> ago, I wanted to do something that was different, and I wanted to create a pop-out book. Well, this is what actually ended up happening. I started uh, decorating, you know, not only on canvas and paper, but also on objects of art. And the NFL saw it many years ago and just was intrigued. They said, you're the one. <laughs> we, we need you to do it. I'm looking at the helmet here, and you can see uh, that State Farm Stadium there. What else on the helmet maybe would you point out as, as something that you really love as yeah. part of this piece of art? So, uh, for instance, I really get the inspiration of where we are. So it's, you know, it's a uh, Arizona helmet, uh, Phoenix-based. So you see the I've drawn in the whole city in here. And of course, the stadium. Is the 12 News Studio in there? I'm kind of uh, looking yeah, for I the building. Yeah, I think it is <laughs> in the back there, maybe. Uh, cheerleaders, uh, landscape. You know, maybe sometimes I always try to draw in. You know, there's so much interesting uh, landscape here in Arizona. Sure. It's unique for the country. So I want somebody when they look at one of my pieces of artwork or one of the limited editions, if they see it and they remember it as being this sort of the essence of the game. And it's, you know, it, this game is so huge. And when it comes to a city, it transforms it. It sure does. Yeah. When I'm looking at this, I'm thinking if I had this on my wall and I walked by this every day, it would take me right back to the <laughs> week of feeling all the excitement and the energy. I also understand you're not just doing works of art for events like the Super Bowl, you've done things worldwide, is that correct? Can you yes. share a little bit about um, where all your art has gone? <laughs> well, we were at the Phoenix Art Museum yesterday unveiling artwork there. And of course, I've been here before because when you had the uh, Major League Baseball All-Star Game, I was here for that and past Super Bowls. Uh, but I'm also creating artwork uh, for the Olympics How every cool. year uh, since 2000 in whatever country it is. And then I do my regular artwork. So are you working on some Paris stuff right now? <laughs> I do. I do a lot of Paris, <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and for the Olympics in 24, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I am creating artwork for that. And I do it in the same style. You know, I'm creating original paintings. They're hand-painted, cut out. Everything is three-dimensional. And uh, so if I'm doing a piece on London or a piece on New York, it's really the sort of the same process. And people have gotten to know me with the uh, three-dimensional process. And of course, uh, you know, there's, I love to bling out stuff. Yes, yeah. I love the bling that. too. So all We love a little sparkle on Today in AZ. <laughs> Right, you notice um, even on the limited edition prints, when you see the light hits it, you'll notice all Swarovski crystals. So, and it, people always ask me, are you doing this all yourself because it's so much time? So I have a staff of 60 artists oh my gosh, that wow. work with me in my studios in New York and we're creating uh, artwork for all of these events. And you know, we have a lot of sunlight here in Arizona that can help to really make this crystal sparkle. <laughs> you do. Charles, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Great to have you. We appreciate you being here with us.